Hi guys and welcome back to another video game with the powers. I'm Jake. In today's video, I'll be showing you guys a playthrough of the board game or Calcum coming to you from Pandasaurus Games. Now this is designed by Bruno Cathala and Johannes Guppy, uh, illustrated by uh, Paul. Mm, what is that? Paul Mafeon. All right, now, uh, Aura Calcum is a relatively new game. I do believe it came out in 2022, maybe, or it might have come out last year. I uh, can't remember for sure, but the reason why I'm bringing you this playthrough of Aura Calcum today, guys, is because actually Pandasaurus is having a February flash sale on their website right now. Huge discounts on massive games like Aura Calcum, Umbravia, Nacho Pile, um... What's the other one? Sobek, uh, Trek, uh, games like that. Huge, huge discounts. And you can actually pick up or Calcum for $11.97. Yes, you guys are right. I said that correctly. You can pick this game up for $11.97. So I want to take the opportunity to show you uh, a playthrough of this game to see if this is something you are interested in. Because for $11, I feel that is phenomenal value. A definite, Definitely a 9 out of 10 here if I would be rating the price uh, on this one. And uh, I think that's a good steal for this game. So let's go ahead and jump down to the table where I got everything set up for a two-player playthrough of Orichalcum. All right, guys, so we are down here at the table where we have everything set up for a two-player playthrough of Orichalcum. So the overall premise of Orichalcum is you got you are going to be drafting uh, the one of these cards up here. This card is going to have a tile on there, which you're going to be placing into your, your land on your board here, as well as an action that you're going to be able to take. You're going to be collecting different resources like hopolites and nuggets, and then you're going to use all of that to try and score five victory points. The player that uh, gains their fifth victory point and has no monsters in any of their lands will automatically be declared the winner. So the way you're going to get victory points is there's three different ways. The first way is uh, you'll see up here in the top right hand corner of the screen, you can build a temple here, okay? So a temple must be built on a spot of four um, places, four different tiles, okay? Each tile has to be different. Now, volcano tiles do count as wild, so you're able to complete that right there. What you would do is take one of these nice shiny medallions, flip it up there, and you now have one token, okay? So that's one way to earn a victory point. The second way to earn a victory point is to forge one of these tokens. So it's going to cost you five Aura Calcum Nuggets. You get to immediately forge one of these tokens and you are one step closer to uh, winning the game. The last way to gain a victory point is to uh, gain the favor of one of the Titans here. So there are five Titans in the game. Okay, we have uh, Kronos, Hephaestus, uh, Thea, and Themis, I believe, don't quote me on all these, but those are the four different Titans in the game. And the way you earn their favor is having a contiguous area of each of their matching color of three tiles, okay? So anytime a player has uh, three contiguous tiles of that, like let's say for Kronos here, for Sands, right? If a player has a continuous uh, three hex tile area, of Sands, then they will earn Kronos's favor, okay? He will come over to them and he is considered one victory point. Now, players can earn the favors of different Titans or the same Titans back and forth. So just because I have earned Kronos's favor over here, this player over here can steal Kronos by earning his favor uh, back by completing another grouping of three, okay? Uh, each of these Titans have a special ability that I'll go over uh, in that era, in that respective time, okay, uh, when they get played. So those are the three main ways you're going to score victory points. So as always with the playthrough, guys, I'm going to go ahead and walk you through what a first turn would look like, and then we're just going to jump in uh, through the rest of the playthrough. So we have a young uh, woman here. She is very... Um, headstrong okay so her strategy is going to kind of be to go hopolite heavy and go into wars and battles and then we have the savvy veteran here who's going to use his cunning to generate some uh gold to try and uh win the game that way so uh we'll start over here with the 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 headstrong uh youthful headstrong warrior 
uh, is going to be the first player. So before you actually take your turn on the very first turn, you need to place your Hoplite camp and your Orichalcum mine out in the board. So there's three different ports around the board. So here, here, and here, which are these three spaces where you're going to choose to start. So uh, she wants to go Hoplite heavy. So we're going to go ahead and put it down in this corner. And anytime you cover a space, uh, you would gain an additional, uh, you would gain those hopolites. So she would get two hopolites. Now I also forgot to mention the reason why the savvy veteran here has two hopolites is because the uh, player to the right of the first player will also gain an additional uh, hopolite for not being the first player. All right, so she is now ready to take her turn. So the very first thing you're gonna do is select one of these action cards on the board, okay? In a three to four player game, you're gonna have five cards in a, uh, in a actually, sorry, in a two to three player game, you'll have five cards in a four player game. You're gonna use this last slot. Since we're not playing a four player game, I'm using some of this uh, to save table space so you guys can kind of see what's going on. Uh, but she will now select an action card. So just like in Canvas or maybe Century Golem Edition, there's going to be certain cards that are going to be free and other cards that you're going to have to pay a resource, resource for. So these first two cards here um, are going to be free. These next two are going to cost one Hopolite, and this last one is going to cost two Hopolites. But she has a very good card that is, fits her strategy perfectly right here on the left-hand side for free. So she's going to select this action card right here. So that is the first thing you are going to do on your turn. The second thing now is you're going to place the terrain tile that is on the card, okay? This is mandatory. You must place this terrain tile. So when placing this terrain tile, it must be adjacent to any other tile that you have out on the board and uh, it must be able to fit, right? I can't have like this section going off the board. I can also cannot cover up or overlap any other tile. So um, I think she's gonna go ahead and drop this tile in here just like this. Now, all the volcano tiles will come with a monster and I'll go over that when it's time for her to battle uh, that monster when she does so. But that is that second step right there is placing that terrain tile. The third step on a turn is you're gonna resolve the action that is on the card. So there's four different actions on the card. You got a combat, which is monster combat. You got building, which you come over here and you can build uh, either those coins, a temple, or take one of these buildings. Uh, you have produce gold or you have produce hopolites. So this is perfect. So she will produce a hopolite for every training camp in her area. So she has one training camp, so she will produce uh, one Hopolite, all right? This card will now go ahead and get discarded and all the other cards will slide over um, to the left and nothing will get replaced, okay? These are the only remaining cards left available uh, until the end of the round, which is once everybody has taken her turn, okay? So the next uh, action that she is able to take is, this is an optional, she can spend either two Hopolites, two Gold, or two Monsters to perform one of the other actions. So uh, I think she's gonna go ahead and do that at this time. So she will spend two Hopolites, okay, to take the combat action and fight this monster. Whenever fighting a monster, you now get to choose how many Hopolites you want to send in the battle. It can either be zero, one, two, or three. For every Hopolite that you choose to add to the fight, you get to roll one extra dice for that combat. So you start with one dice and then you get to roll an additional. So let's see here. So this monster is a six. So she needs to roll a six or higher. Uh, I think she'll spend one Hopolite to this fight here, and what you're going to do is just put them on that uh, position there, if I can do some balancing, and she's going to roll an additional die, okay? So two dice coming in, and let's see what we roll. So we have five, six, and seven. So she is successful in defeating this monster, okay? This Hopolite will go back to the supply, because he has spent, and this monster is defeated. So she will gain the bonus here that is on this monster. So this bonus here is draw a building tile from the bag here, and she has the option to place that out there on one of her eligible um, spots on the board. So what does she have? Okay, so this looks like a catapult. So forgive me here real quick. 
So this is Siege Engine. So whenever she fights a creature, the owner of the Siege Engine considers any die with the result indicated on this building as if it were a instant kill. So any ones would be an instant kill. So I think she's going to go ahead and drop that there on that volcanic tile, which is a wild. That's going to help her in the future with defeating uh, these monsters. Uh, the last thing she's going to do in a two-player game, you must discard one of these... Um, you must discard one of these tiles here, okay? Uh, in a three or four player game, you would skip this step and just go right to the end of the round. So she's looking at this, right? She doesn't quite know this guy's strategy yet, right? So uh, I think what she's thinking of is I need to make sure he cannot uh, really build anything, uh, but also maybe generating these resources uh, is going to help him. So she thinks the smart thing is going to be discard this card because the other two options for him are not really that good. So anytime you discard a card, a tile that's on it is going to go back to the bottom of the pile. But for the purpose of this video, I'm just going to place it below me. And then uh, that card is going to discard it. You would shift everything to the right. That is her full turn. So now we will go to the savvy veteran here. So the savvy veteran is a little disappointed. Uh, but he will place his uh, little tile down here on the double nuggets because he's looking to go for nuggets, right? So he'll get two nuggets down there, and then he's going to look at drafting a tile. So uh, for him, I think his best option is to take this double mountain, okay? Taking the double mountain here, and he's going to put the double mountain right down uh well actually he'll put the double mountain there i think that's what he's going to do put that double mountain right there now this is a combat action he cannot take this action so he's going to have to skip this unfortunately and the last thing he can do is spend two of any resource to um to take an additional action um I think the savvy veteran is going to hold here because he wants to try and get another mountain tile to recruit a god of the mountains, which is Hephaestus, because Hephaestus is going to allow him to generate more. Um, Hephaestus will allow him to generate more or calcum. OK, so he will pass his turn. So he's going to need to discard. So he does not want her uh, taking any actions. He actually does not want her being able to build. So he will destroy this. This will come back down below. And that is the end of his turn. So now we've gone to the end of the round. What we're going to do is we're going to replenish this action board right here. Okay, replenish the action board is the first thing we're going to do. We'll put all the, the tiles out on these cards. If any monsters need to come out, we'll go ahead and do that. Then we would also uh, replenish this construction board if any of these tiles are missing, which we don't have to do that. And then the last thing we would do is assign initiative. So initiative is based on the number of uh, the person that has the most hopolites will gain initiative. So this person has the savvy veterans got two hopolites, so he will gain the initiative and be allowed to go first. Uh, and recompense for that, she will gain an additional hopolite. So let's go ahead and pull these two terrains out here, just like this, and see what we got. So boom, boom, and two, just like that. All right. So we are now ready to proceed. Uh, with the remainder of the game. So I hope you guys got to get a feel and see how the game works. Now I'm just going to kind of mow through the rest of the game and uh, let's see who ends up the winner. Well, right away, we have a perfect option for the savvy veteran and that is to draft this card right here. Uh, so he will place this tile in this direction, right? So he has now earned the favor of Hephaestus, okay? So I'm just going to put Hephaestus uh, over here, actually, to signify, because this is his really first, um, his first time. So he's got one victory point, and then now he's going to activate the ability and use Hephaestus' ability to generate double the amount of, uh, of Orichalcum there. So he's going to get uh, two Orichalcum uh, to his name. This is going to exhaust uh, Hephaestus. 
uh, just like that. Now, you still will have one favor, but uh, the only way to unexhaust is to get another grouping or add to your grouping or if a player gets the other grouping. So that was his action, okay? He now has the opportunity to uh, take an additional action and uh, I think what this guy will do is, uh, let me slide all these down really quickly. All right, he's gonna spend his two hoplites and he's gonna take this build action to spend all five of his orichalcum to go ahead and generate a coin, okay? So the savvy veteran now has two uh, victory points to his name and then he needs to discard a card. Well, he knows what the uh, headstrong warrior's strategy is going to be, so he is going to discard this hopolite card and not give her the opportunity to generate more hopolites okay so uh that is the end of his turn over to this headstrong warrior so she is looking at this board and thinking is there any way i can get a titan which there is not um so she's maybe looking at she can get a mountain um, she has nothing to fight, so probably her best option is to go with this one, and she's going to have to pay a Hopolite in order to do that, okay? So she will place this tile out somewhere on the board, and she's going to put it right there, okay? She now takes this build action, and she is going to collect the Hopolite farm or camp on this, and it must be placed on a desert tile, uh, so she'll put it there and she generates this hopolite. Okay, so that will be discarded. Now she has the option to spend any, uh, either two hopolites, two gold, or two minotaurs. Um, I think she's gonna hold on for now. All right, and so that will be the end of her turn. She needs to discard a card and she does not want to. She might, you know what, she might discard this card right here for the three and uh, do that. Okay, so that was another full round. We'll go ahead and replenish here with what we have now. We're going to have to take the rest of this deck, shuffle it back up, and uh, see what we got. So that's, we're going to do that, okay? Before I refill all of these, we're going to refill this board and then we're going to do initiative, okay? So we got a protection crystal out there, okay? Um, a protection crystal when these monsters are out on the board, I also forgot to mention this, you cannot put any buildings adjacent uh, to a circle that a monster is on. With that protection crystal, that allows you to do so, okay? Uh, so she will gain initiative because she has two hopolites. He will gain a hopolite uh, in compensation for that. And then we're going to go ahead and put these uh, spots out on the board. Okay. So she is going to want to... Ooh, we got another monster coming out. All right. We have a monster coming out. So what do we got? Another minotaur. Okay. Uh, so again, she wants to continue to generate these hopolites, uh, but she would be nice to have a farm here. So I think she's going to just do the hopolites, generate these hopolites. So we're going to place this tile, bam, bam. Okay. So generate hopolites. We got two hopolites coming to her. Bada bing, bada boom. This gets discarded. She has the option to take an additional action if she wants to. So, mm, this statue up here might be something worth it. But also, if she were to get a different type of terrain there, eh, she's okay for now. Uh, so, I think what she's going to do is spend two hopolites. Okay, to take the building action and take this building here, must be built on a green. And what this says is anytime she defeats a monster, she will also gain an additional Orichalcum Nugget uh, for doing that. Okay, so now all these cards will slide down and she will need 
to discard a card. Well, right away, she sees a good option to discard this gold uh, from the savvy veteran so that he is unable to get that. All right. And then these are going to slide down and that will be the end of her turn. So moving on to the savvy veteran here, uh, he's looking at his options and really does not see a whole lot. Um, he doesn't really want to spend his last hopolite uh, to do that. He can now actually build some buildings, uh, which would be useful. Um, you know, a water building might work. So I think that's what he'll do. So he'll he'll gain this. Uh, he will use the water there. He's going to use his build action to gain this little statue right here. And he's going to put that uh, on that spot there, okay? So this statue, what this is going to do is this is going to, the cost for purchasing additional action is reduced by one while spending that type of resource. So anytime he would spend a monster, uh, that is going to be reduced. He did not want to gain this hopolite here uh, because if he covered up one of these spots right here, it would not count as having three of a kind and he would lose the favor of uh, Hephaestus, okay? So he's gonna go ahead and do that. Now he must discard a card. I think his obvious option here is to discard this from the uh, from his opponent there, so she can't do that, okay? And then we are now going into the end of the round. So we're gonna go ahead and replenish the board here and see what we got coming up. So we we'll need to draw two over here and uh, let's see what we got. We got a factory on forest and we have a, what is that? That looks like that's going to be a um, forge. So at the end of the turn, the forge owner is allowed to perform a second extra action. They still have to pay the usual action cost to do so so you could get an additional one interesting okay so now the player with the most initiative will uh get the token she already has the token so she will stay uh with the initiative this guy will gain a hopolite in terms of favor now if there ever was a tie here uh it would automatically go to the other player okay uh let's go ahead and refill this board all right we got a monster coming out we got oh, double building, we got that, and then we have, uh, ooh, we got a lot of monsters coming out here. All right, this does not bode well. So we have a Cerberus, we have a Medusa, a Gorgon over there, and then we have the Minotaur. All right, so we have the first turn over here to the Headstrong Warrior. So let's see what she's looking at. Um... She maybe want to take out that Cerberus and in the process, it would stop the savvy veteran from generating gold, which I think that's what she's going to do. So she's going to take this card right here. Uh, let's see where she wants to place this tile. So I think she's going to place this tile... Hmm, it's a lot of different options. I think she's just going to put it right there, okay? So this uh, Cerberus is going to go here. All right, she now takes the Orichalcum action, so she will generate one Orichalcum. All right, all these are going to slide down. And um, the Headstrong now has the option uh, to take an additional action. So she will spend her two Orichalcum here to go ahead and fight this Cerberus. She's just going to send one guy into the fight to roll two dice and she rolls a one which actually counts as an instant death, okay, because of her siege engine. So this Cerberus will now die. She will collect not only one but an additional Orichalcum uh, for compensating uh, for this archway as well and so now she must discard a card well uh, I think she sees right away 
that uh, she does not want this guy to build and get that gold mine. So she is going to destroy this uh, opportunity to construct a building. Okay. Um, all right. So moving on to the savvy veteran. Well, even though he's got two victory points, he's in a little bit of a pickle here. Uh, but I think he's okay because uh, we're going to see what he's got up his sleeve. So um, he is actually going to take this tile with the volcanic on there. And uh, he is going to place that. Ooh. Um, he will place that here. Okay. So he's going to place that here. He will now generate a hopolite. So he's got one hopolite there. All right. And then everything will slide over. And then he will need to discard. And so he's just taking this off the board, even though uh, it will hurt him a little bit in doing so. Okay. So again, we've reached the end of the round. So Savvy Veteran is up first. Hmm. You know what? I think he's feeling pretty good about himself. Uh, I think what he's going to do is actually take this uh, this token here. And he's got a mountain tile. So we'll put the mountain tile right there. And then now he has the combat action. So he will spend two hopolites. Uh, send two hopolites to the fight. And I'm just going to put them right there for now. So he'll be rolling three dice. Let's see what he's got. He's got five, six, seven, eight, okay? He needed eight on the dot, so he is successful in taking out this Gorgon here and getting two uh, or a Calcum for doing so, all right? He now has the opportunity to spend two of any resource, which uh, he does not want to do at this particular moment. Uh, so I think he'll just end his turn by discarding a card. Again, he does not want his opponent to generate these Hopolites um for anything and so he's gonna slide all these back down over okay so moving on to the headstrong warrior here uh let's see she can get a building uh she has a couple buildings at her disposal you know she can get that mountain tile um she can get a water tile for that forge a forest to generate some or a sand um, but she's mainly looking at these hopolites. So what she's going to do here is probably, um, she'll take this construction tile right here, move these over, move these over, and she's going to place this mountain tile. Mm, she'll place the mountain tile up top here. Okay. So now she takes the construction option. She will construct a camp. A training camp with a hopolite up there in the corner and now she has the option to spend two of any resource to take another action so she's got two monsters available to her um, interesting I think what she will do is spend these two monsters well she'll wait she'll wait she's gonna wait all right so she'll end her turn by discarding a card and discard this oracalcum nugget from the savvy veteran and then that is going to be the end of the round so you can see how these rounds move fairly quick guys there's not a whole lot of cards in the game uh and so things move very quickly so that's that we need to refill this board up here Okay, what is that? That is going to be a oratory. So the oratory allows the player to have uh, hold an additional Titan tile. You're only allowed to hold one Titan tile, so she can hold two Titan tiles, which is a huge impact uh, for her. Definitely something she might look at doing. Um, okay, so now we need initiative. So initiative is going to be to the headstrong warrior. Let's go ahead and generate some of these tiles out here and see if there's any monsters. There is one monster that we'll need to pull out from the bag. All right, let's see. What do we got? We got a Cyclops for three gold. Okay, so it's her first 
Uh, so let's see what she has on the board. So there's no monsters, so she's definitely going to want to take that Hopolite action. Um, and I think what she's going to do is spend one Hopolite and take this card right here, okay? This is going to be good for her in the long run. So uh, she is going to place this. Ooh, we're going to place that there, okay? So she covers this spot up, so she gains a Nugget and a Hopolite, all right? She has also made a area, a contiguous area of three, so she is going to get the favor of uh, Themis, I think this is what this one is. That allows her to double the production on Hopolites, which she will actually do right now and use this favor to double the production of these Hopolites. So she's got one, two, three, so she will gain six. One, two, three, uh, four, five, and six Hopolites. All right, so she's got a vast army at her disposal. Okay, that is that. Now she has the opportunity to take an additional action, which she will. So she'll spend two of these Hopolites to take a build action, and she is going to steal this oratory here. And she's going to put this on a mountain spot, okay? And uh, now she needs to discard a card. So all these are going to move over. And uh, right away, she's just going to discard this card from the Savvy Veteran to prevent him from gaining any uh, gold. She's really focusing in on his gold generating abilities, okay? So that is the end of her turn. So now we're going back to the savvy veteran here. And so he wants to continue to try and uh, maybe get some gold. And there is no build action for him. Uh, so what he might do is, ooh, what he might start looking is maybe to build some of these temples here. So in order to build a temple, he's going to need to have three of one resource or four different resources. So he's going to just lay this bad boy uh, flat just like that. OK, that gives him a good opportunity. He cannot take this action as he does not have only two gold. So he's OK. So that's going to be the end of the round here. So we're going to need to place these cards out refill this board up here and we got another statue so hopolite actions are reduced by one and uh his actions with the statues are reduced by one so he actually could take one of those as well but he's gonna wait on his turn so let's see what we got so initiative is clearly staying with uh the savvy warrior over here or not the savvy warrior the uh Headstrong Warrior. All right, so what do we got? We got a Minotaur coming out. So let's see what she is looking at on the board. Um, she wants to start generating some other resources as well. Um, but let's see how she can't really buy anything. Um, she might take another monster or she can build something. Um, let's see what she wants to do. She could add a, a temple. She got two spots for a temple over there. So I think that's what she wants to start working on. So, uh, but first let's get these monsters. So she'll spend two Hopolites, take this card from the, uh, savvy veteran over here. And what she's going to do is place this uh volcanic spot right there with the monster on it okay she's going to generate aura calcum which is going to be one aura calcum there all right and then she has the opportunity to spend either one of these to take an additional action so she will in fact spend two of her monsters okay uh she'll spend two of her monsters to take the uh monster combat action Okay, and so she's going to send one hop of light to the fight and roll two dice in the hopes that she can battle this guy. And she rolls double insta kill. So this Minotaur is dead. She gains an additional gold for doing that. And then um, she also gets to draw a building tile from the bag and place it anywhere on the board. So she draws another camp. Wow. 
Uh, so she's gonna drop that camp down there and that and so she's gonna be generating a lot of hoplites. So she now has the opportunity to uh, discard a tile uh, from the bag and I think what she's gonna do is discard this greenery tile so this veteran cannot uh, build a uh, palace or a temple this turn because in order to build a temple you need four different hexes or four different circles in order to do that so moving on to the savvy veteran here uh he has quite a conundrum of where he's at and so let's see here he needs he needed a forest tile but he's got a forest tile right there so he might switch his plan a little bit and uh, let's see what is out there. See, he doesn't want to use that forest tile as a uh, as an opportunity yet. Well, he could use that actually. Uh, so let's see. He will take uh, spend his final hoplite. All right, and he will take this double tile card. So he's going to actually put this there. Okay, which is going to give him his hoplite back and a nugget. All right, he gets to take the construction and he's going to take the uh, tile up here from the forest, drop that bad boy down right there, and now he would generate a or calcum, all right, for doing so uh, from that tile. Okay, and uh, I do believe that I might have been doing this incorrectly. Anytime these tiles are out there, they should be generating stuff on top of them uh, so that she would have generated a um hop a light for placing that down there okay so that was him he needs to uh gener he needs to get rid of something which he'll get rid of this building from here and that is going to be the end of the round so we have no more cards here and uh we're, people are making progress but not really any progress whatsoever okay uh the game can kind of stall out but that's okay All right, let's see what we got here. So initiative is obviously going to stay over here. He does gain a hop of light for his Compen sense or Peckham Peckham stance. I don't know what the right word is I'm looking for here. All right. We have Dubal. Wow. All right, we got some uh, monsters out here. So let's go. We got a big Hydra for 12. We got the ogre for 10 gold. Okay, so Headstrong Warrior's turn. Let's see what she wants to do. Um, I think what she's going to do is, let's see, what is that? That is, uh, that could work for her. Um, that could work for her maybe just a little bit, but... Um, she, I mean, she's got hopolites. She could generate a lot more hopolites. Um, let's see. She is at a pickle here. Uh, she could take a... I think she's going to take this, okay? Here's why. She's going to take this and put this tile laying across this way just like this all right uh so that will go there she'll now generate or a calcum which is one or a calcum nugget all right she does now have the opportunity to uh take an additional action so she will spend um let me slide all these down here you know what she's actually gonna hold on to what she has right now because uh, she's fairly confident in what to do. So she's going to discard this Aura Calcum card from the Savvy Veteran here and uh, leave it to him for him to decide. So Savvy Veteran is left, uh, left looking for crumbs, but is he? He is actually going to take this tile right here and uh, slide that in there just like that. And then he cannot take this attack action. He will spend his two hoplites to take a construct action. And he will build his first temple. So again, a temple must go on a space that has one of each different terrain type, which that does. And his temple lays right there. And he will claim a temple. So he is now at three uh, victory points. 
and two points away from winning the game, okay? He will then go ahead and discard a card, which he's going to discard this card uh, back to the supply. And we are now going to go ahead and refresh the round here. Actually, and I think I should have refreshed that building uh, that one time. So let's go ahead and refresh his building. Oh, we got another Oracalca Mine. Uh, initiative is going to stay with this player here. And let's see. Wow, we got a lot of monsters out. All right, all right. We got a lot of monsters out. So this does not look well for maybe the uh, savvy veteran here. The warrior is catching up. She's got a plan, and she's going to make good use of this plan. So uh, it's her turn. So she's drafting a tile. So what she's going to draft is this tile right here. Okay. She's going to draft this attack tile, and she is going to put that thing there with this monster just like that okay now she does have the option to attack so so with this attack uh, option from the card uh she's able to uh tackle more than one creature so i think what she's gonna do is she will start with the uh the gorgon here so she's gonna spend one hopolite okay she's gonna send one hopolite to the fight and roll two dice She's pretty confident in her rolls. So she rolls a one, which is instant death. So this Medusa Gorgon character is destroyed. She gains three gold for doing so, okay? And then she can continue to fight, which she will, and she's gonna send three Hopolites in to secure this fight from the, uh, from the Hydra here. She wants to make sure this thing goes bye-bye. Oop, and I kind of knocked over some of my stuff here. Uh, so that is plenty enough damage there to uh, fend off this Hydra, which is defeated, okay? And uh, let me see what the bonus on this Hydra is. Uh, so immediately draws the attention of the Titan depicted on the Hydra, okay? So she has drawn the attention of this... Um, Titan here, she's able to hold two Titans because she has that oratory. So she's now got two victory points. Okay. So that was her action. She now can take an additional action and she will spend two monsters over here and she is going to build a temple. All right. Now these volcanic tiles count as wilds. So she's going to place a temple there, which is going to get her her third victory point. Okay. So that is going to be the end of her turn. She's going to need to discard something. And uh, she is going to discard this uh, Oricalcum Nugget Tile, okay? So this guy in the Hopalite is going back in the bag. And then we are good to go. Moving on to our savvy veteran here. Uh, he knows he needs to do something and do something very quickly. Uh, so I think what he's going to do is he needs to try and construct something that's going to be able to help him in any manner. Uh, that's going to be taking a monster here is what he feels is his best option. So uh, he is actually going to do this and put that there just like that. So uh, he is going to gain the favor again back of Hephaestus by flipping that over. He's gonna gain a Hopalite uh, for his circumstance and now he has the ability to take an additional action, okay? Uh, so what he's gonna do is spend his Gorgon. He only needs to spend one because of this statue. And I think what he's gonna do is generate some nuggets here. So he has a uh, Hephaestus, so he's gonna use him to generate double the uh, nuggets. So he will get four Oracalcum nuggets. One, two, one, two, three, and four, okay? I'm hoping he, he's got a plan here, hoping that he can do that. And uh, that will be the end of his turn. So he's going to discard and prevent uh, his counterpart from constructing. And uh, that will be the end of the round. Okay, so we're getting down to the nitty gritty here, guys. And uh, I think 
the uh, Headstrong Warrior is actually going to end up taking it. I don't know. We'll see. All right. So let me get this uh, double out. We got to get this out. We got to get this out. And we got to get this out. All right. So we got three monsters that we're going to need to pull out here. All right. We got a, a Gorgon. We got a Cyclops. And we got a Cerberus. Well, actually, Cyclops and Cerberus. Okay. So we have all those that I pulled from the bag there. And what we're going to do is drop all these. Okay. All right. So we got those three monsters out. Initiative is actually going to go to the savvy veteran this time because she has no hopolites at her disposal. She will gain a hopolite for favor. And something I did forget was he should have been having hopolites um along his turn oh my god i played through this whole playthrough without with skipping that step uh the savvy veteran will now take his turn so let's see what he wants to do uh he's gonna need to take out this minotaur in order to win the game uh so i think what he wants to do is spend a hopolite take this build action okay and uh we're gonna put this little green forest area there all right he's going to take the build action and go three four and five okay he's going to spend five nuggets to forge an aura calcum coin which will give him his fourth victory point and now he has the option to take an additional action uh he's not going to well so he'll spend the two nuggets and take the action to try and fight this minotaur so he will spend one Hopolite and roll two dice, all right? Let's see what he rolls. He gets an instant death for the uh, minion and Minotaur. So he spends that just like that, and he will draw something from the bag, which is a mine, and he can place it anywhere, which he's going to place it there, and he will generate another Orichalcum. All right. So... He needs to now discard a card. So I think what he wants to do is prevent her from being able to construct for free. So this will get discarded. Okay. He wants to prevent her from being able to construct for free. And there his case. So now we're on to her. So she obviously wanted to take the construction action. Uh, she's not able to, but she has a plan where she might be able to get away with uh, with what she wants to do anyway, hopefully. Um, so, what she's going to do is take this double hopolite, okay? So, she's going to place this... Hmm. She's going to place this there, all right? Generating two Orichalcum Nuggets. She'll also gain four Hopolites. So one, two, three, that was three and four, okay? And then she has the option to take an additional action, which she will spend two Hopolites, all right, and five Orichalcum Nuggets to wield or generate a metal coin, all right? So that is the end of her turn. She will now discard a card which she will discard this one right here. And we will move to the end of the round. So she will get the first player token. All right. And we're going to put, oh, I actually did these from the bottom. So it should go like this. All right. Boom, 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 and boom. And that there is going to be the end of the game, guys. The Headstrong Warrior has managed to pull it out, and I will show you why. Because, uh, because she has initiative, he would gain a Hopolite. She is able to be the first one to go. The thing she would do here is she would draft the uh, Forge Tile. She can just put that anywhere. And her action is going to be to spend five Nuggets in order to forge another token there, 
Uh, and actually, that should be forged there. Okay. And she is the first one to achieve five victory points. She has no monsters in the land. And she is victorious. All right, guys. Well, look, that is a full playthrough of two-player playthrough of Auric Calcum. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. Uh, I do really enjoy this game. It's it's super simple, super easy. Um, it has a cool mechanic of card drafting, tile laying. Uh, the strategies you can take are kind of fun. Um, it's just a very well-made game, like a very well-made race uh, to victory point game. It's got that Greek uh, a feel to it as well. So I definitely do enjoy uh, Orm Calcum. Definitely, uh, if you like this, go pick it up. $11.97, guys. You cannot beat that uh, for a very good quality game. Uh, if I made any rules mistakes, please go ahead and drop them down in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, hit that like button, hit that notification bell. And as always, uh, if you are not subscribed to our channel, please subscribe so we can keep bringing you more awesome content. All right, guys. Have a great one. Bye.